Gabi Londo on one side, Carlos Gerpegi nominally on the other, and Igor Martinez behind the striker, Fernando Llorente. The referee tonight, Matteo Lajov. Now, Matteo Lajov made himself very popular with Pep Guardiola, uh, rather, sorry, with Jose Mourinho last weekend when Real Madrid won 2-1 at Real Sociedad because Mourinho said he allowed the game to flow like an English match. Well, those words are significant tonight because this is the stadium that Spaniards will always tell you is the most English-style stadium and the most English-style team in La Liga. Aggressive, direct, very much on top of you. So we could be in for a game that really flows that's really, really end-to-end -end all the way through. Of course, Barcelona want to prevent that from being the case by controlling the match and stopping this being an end-to-end -end crazy affair as the two coaches say hello to each other. <laughs> took his hat off him, and at the final whistle, the team would jump up and down and ruin his hat. Hence the phrase that's often said in the Basque Country in the last few minutes of big games, how little time you have left, bowler hat. So we're up for the Barcelona lineup for you very quickly. Victor Valdez in goal, of course. Dani Alves, Gerard Piquet, Carlos Puyol, and Adriano at the back, not Maxwell. A slight surprise there. Sergio Busquets, Xavi Hernandez, and Seydou Keita in midfield. And up front, Pedro, David Villa, and Andres Iniesta. And Barcelona, I don't know if their players will have been told this because they were in the tunnel when the final whistle went at Levante, where Real Madrid were held nil-nil. 12 minutes in, could have had three already. Lovely, lovely ball from Andres Iniesta. And Villa, in truth, of course he should score from that angle, but you almost wonder if you could actually criticise him for anything. He really didn't do a lot wrong. There's the earlier bit of skill from Andres Iniesta. Two in a row now. He's finishes it off his first goal of the season he got six last year and almost all of them five of the six in the first six weeks of the season it's taken him till the fifth week to get his first this campaign hasn't had the best of starts of the season either in true state Cater. this is a wonderful finish Iniesta inside Villa's touch is inch perfect and Cater finishes it off really should have finished that off but it's a very very good save from Gorka just un sneaking underneath his body Alves with a lovely assist <laughs> thinks that Iniesta dived or at the very least that he was already going to ground under the challenge from I think it was Artanechi I think he might actually be right as we see again the goal as Cater just nudges that with a toe beyond the keeper Gorka Ithalf coming out sliding out the ball just underneath his body Well, these two sides have played now. Total of <laughs> chances. And the ability to find little angled balls through the gap, particularly in the two inside channels, is quite extraordinary. Andres Iniesta, I think this came back of the post, maybe the side netting. Barcelona are really getting chances now. Inevitable, really. Goal to the good, a man up as well. Alves was able to make the most of the mistake from Javi Martinez. The ball a little behind Villa. Shot in the end from the Brazilian. And it is really striking that every single time... Barcelona Barcelona have surely almost certainly won this now. Well, it was an un like sort of goal, really. I really would love to see it again because it seemed to bend with the outside of the foot inside that near post. I don't know if it took a deflection because the ball didn't travel all that quickly or didn't appear to travel all that quickly from Xavi as he scores his first of the season. So a look again. Yeah, it did. It took a deflection. Well, Barcelona take a 2-0 lead, and Barcelona almost certainly now going to take all three points from this game. Xavi and Andef with the... I think Villa 
in truth can have not too many complaints about the red card possibly a yellow would have been enough but I don't think Villa can have too many complaints he's been sent off bad news for Barcelona who will lose Villa now for at least one game possibly two depending on how the committee judge that Barcelona play against Mallorca next at home and then Valencia at home before traveling away to Real Zaragoza they have Valencia and Sevilla in two of the in two of three weeks. It's Mallorca, Valencia, Zaragoza, then Sevilla, then Getafe, Villarreal, Almeria, Real Madrid. Real Madrid on the 28th of November. Not yet confirmed whether that will be the 28th or the day before. As Bojan goes into the area, and Bojan was bundled over, and I think there was a case for a penalty there. Bojan certainly thought so. It's reached that stage of the game where I think the referee is. Not going to give anything borderline against Athletic now. They're almost certainly going to lose anyway. It's a wild lunge from San Jose. I'm not sure he got near the ball. When, oof. Well, it's certainly the case that I think that kind of challenge anywhere else on the pitch would have been a foul. Perhaps with a couple minutes to go and Barcelona tunnel up anyway. It's just easier not to give that kind of decision. It's easier not to run the risk, and nobody really is going to complain. Well, you wonder as well to what extent the red card for David Veer is fruit of his frustration at the fact that the ball hasn't gone in for him tonight, and maybe he's a little edgy about that. Goes all the way back to Gorka. Pedro comes to take it off him. Gorka launches it long. Puyol was appealing for offside, not given. Nice control as well from Iturraspe. Iturraspe has support behind. Ball is clipped into the area towards the penalty spot. It's a good header as well. Great save from Victor Valdez. Turned back in, and it's in. Atletico have got the goal. Igor Gabilondo, and maybe that's a sign of what we were saying earlier on. But for as long as Barcelona only had a one-goal lead, they were always in a little... A couple of minutes at least, looked a tiny, tiny, tiny bit edgy for Barcelona. Busquets was bombing up the pitch, Pedro into space, turned into the area, pulled it back for Busquets. Good finish too, wasn't it, for a guy who doesn't score goals. It's Cater's ball. Pedro's run was very, very clever, just making sure he got into his own half. I'm not sure if he'd quite done it, but I think there was an athletic player just inside, and then Pedro pulled it back, rather than going to the far side to Thiago, pulled it back to Busquets, and, well, that's a finish that you just do not stop. Pedro's assist, Busquets' is finish, Barcelona 3-1 up, and Barcelona now climbing ahead of Real Madrid, surely now climbing ahead of Real Madrid, into second place, just behind Valencia. The night as he couldn't fish off his chances and got a direct red for reacting rather badly to Carlos Gurdpegi. But ultimately, it's been a very, very good night indeed for Football Club Barcelona. They've come to one of the hardest places to visit in La Liga, San Mames, just as they went to Atletico Madrid last weekend, a place where they traditionally don't get good results and won 2 1. This weekend, they won 3 1. Better still for Barcelona. Earlier on tonight, Real Madrid were held to a 0 0 draw by Levante. And that means that Barcelona have climbed ahead of Real Madrid in the table into second place, a solitary...